So what's going on everyone? So today I am gonna show you a really, really unique floor plan that when I saw it, I had to come out here and film it because it's very interesting, especially in a travel trailer format. What you're looking at is the Sunset Trail Grand Reserve Travel Trailer. The specific model number of this unit is the 33CK. Now, this is a very interesting floor plan. It's going to be similar to some of the rear living room floor plans that you know I like, but they've taken a different approach with this one, which I think you'll like. So going up into this unit, they do have the LCI Solid Step Stairs. So this is a mid-living room floor plan. They've done a really good job with the layout here because it gives you a lot of what you want in a living room kitchen space. First of all, if you notice, the living room area is set up right here in the center. They give you a good size love seat as well as theater seating here. But what's really nice is that the TV is visible from both seating locations really well. You know, most people that might be on this sofa are going to sit towards the end here, but it's very similar to that rear living room layout that I like and it gives you a nice big space here that's pretty much unimpeded by anything in the floor. So the living room, which is in the middle, has a lot of space, but check out this kitchen. This kitchen is truly amazing. First of all, when you look at the dinette, typically this table with chairs dinette setup gives you some limited seating room behind the chair. You have a lot of room here. You could easily sit taller people in these chairs without having to worry about feeling cramped in. So that's a very unique feature of this floor plan. And it's all in the slide. The next huge selling point of this coach is the kitchen. Check out the counter space. You have more countertop space in this unit than we have in our fifth wheel, and honestly, than I've seen in most fifth wheels. First of all, over here at the end, you have this really nice setup with a wine cooler, as well as tons of cabinetry, and look at this huge countertop space here with a window above it. Plus, you have additional storage directly above it. You have a good size gas electric refrigerator, your stove, microwave oven, cabinets all across the top, cabinets and pantry area right here on the side, more storage, as well as this huge countertop space here and in the island. So the island has more drawers, more cabinets, huge countertop space. This just has a phenomenally well laid out kitchen. If you were gonna be using a travel trailer full time and you want to have a coach that really gives you good space to feel comfortable in, this really does it. This is probably the best laid out travel trailer I have ever seen. I mean, take a look at how they've laid all this space out. The only thing it's missing would be a sofa. So it has a love seat here, and it would have been nice to have a full width sofa. You have your theater seats here, of course, which will recline, and then you have that nice area there. Plus, you're going to have more cabinets above the love seat, more cabinets above the TV, and you're going to have one of those newer wide fireplaces. The TV does swivel, so you can position it so it's angled, best for people who are sitting in the living room area. They have the nice contrasting wall section right here, which really gives us a nice warm feel. I love the wood tones. I'm one of those people that really likes dark on light wood tones, and this really has that really nice dark wood feel to it. I know some people prefer lighter color, but in my opinion, this is a really great color scheme. Now moving on into the bathroom. So master bathroom area is what I would say, you know, comparable to what you're gonna get on most fifth wheels. You have a nice tall ceiling. So the ceiling in this unit is probably close to seven feet tall, maybe a little taller than that. Inside of the shower, you probably can be a good six, five and still have good head clearance without having to worry about, you know, hitting the ceiling. Nice vanity area, has a really nice wide sink area here, so you have a lot of room on the side. They've made the sink bowl just a little bit smaller, but it's still pretty deep and it's fairly well accessible. So a lot of room here for any supplies you might need, any toiletries, things like that. Plus they give you a lot of storage cabinetry here. So you could really store a lot of things in these cabinets and it's kind of overflow to the bedroom. 
So going into the master bedroom, the huge story here is the fact that first you have your own AC, but you also have a window up front with a day-night roller shade on it. So queen size bed, it's probably the largest bed you can fit in here just because the width of the slide is hugging the side of the bed. So this is a queen size bed. It has a beautiful window up front and a nice little storage area here. So you not only have this large countertop area here, but you also have drawers. You have cabinets on both sides that open up. And it's a pretty deep area too. This space is probably at the top a foot and a half and at the bottom about three feet deep. Plus, you have really nice cabinetry up top. I do wish they would put those little hydraulic arms here that would hold the cabinets open. You do have a direct fire air conditioning system up here in the master bedroom, but it is also ducted from the living room. So the living room AC is going to also blow air back here, as well as the, uh, the direct fire AC that's in this room. Nice pocket door to close off to the bathroom. And then you have a real door here that opens back up to the living room. Now here's your primary AC unit. It is a Coleman mock series. It is ducted through the whole coach. Your lighting fixtures, it would have been nice if they would have put some decorative, you know, wood around the lights because just having them connected directly to the ceiling looks a little bit plain to me. Overall, though, this is probably my new favorite travel trailer floor plan. I really, really like the setup on this unit. It is really nice. The layout is one that I never thought I would have really appreciated until I saw it. If you are perhaps working from your travel trailer, you know, you have a lot of room on the table. You could set up a computer. You could probably even remove the freezer if you're not using it and have this set up as a desk. It's just a perfectly designed space, in my opinion, for a travel trailer. The master bedroom is very nice, and I love that huge window across the front of it that just gives you visibility. And in some sense, it gives you some security as well because it lets you see what's going on in a typically blind spot on most RVs. Just a really, really beautiful setup for a travel trailer. So this specific coach has a dry weight of 7,810 pounds and a maximum cargo capacity of 1,800 pounds. So you're gonna be right below 10,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating on this unit if you are planning on towing it with a pickup truck. This is definitely three quarter ton pickup truck or above. I would not tow a unit like this with a half ton truck. This coach does not have an upgraded suspension system. It's your traditional equalizer in the center. That is probably something I'd upgrade as well. Maybe to a Moride Cree 3000, something like that. But this unit does have auto leveling. So it does have leveling jacks on both ends. These are gonna be your rearmost jacks and these will be your front jacks. This has a 10 inch I-beam frame, which is a very similar frame to a fifth wheel. So it's gonna have a good solid structure that it sits on. So it has its full pass-through storage right here. Really nice, you can see the aluminum framing of this unit. But then if you walk to the back, this is underneath the kitchen cabinet area. You're gonna have your outside kitchen, complete with micro refrigerator, cooktop that is built into a pull-out drawer. So this area right here will pull out and allow you to work, of course, outside of the RV. This coach does have a cargo rack on the back, which folds down. It's very nice, as well as pre-wired for a Furion reverse camera. This coach does use a cable driven slide system. You can see the cable right here and then the cable up on top as well. Does support two propane tanks and is also pre-wired for solar. So both axles are rated at 4,400 pounds each. So 8,800 pounds total capacity for your axles. Now that's not too bad because your hitch weight is going to be deducted from your axle weight. So you're going to have enough capacity with the axles to easily support this unit. Now one of the reasons that I've heard some RVs are moving to a cable driven uh, slide system is because it frees up a lot of the space down here and you don't have all the little bars and pipes and everything that go into the coach. So it gives you the ability to have a much cleaner install across the bottom with less chance of rodents and things getting in through the seal system. 
Now this coach is gonna have an MSRP of about $55,000. Most of the time you'll probably be able to get this in the $39 to $45,000 price range when everything's said and done. So it's gonna fall in about that average price range of this type of unit across all the brands. It's definitely a really, really nice floor plan and it's one that if you have a Sunset Trail dealer near you, you should probably go out and take a look at, especially if you're looking at getting into a large travel trailer versus a fifth wheel. Now keep in mind, the length of this unit is definitely going to be in that fifth wheel length area. You're looking at about 37 feet long, so it's definitely not a short unit. So keep that in mind. Also guys, again, three quarter ton, one ton area with a coach this size. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you again very soon.